I sat down this week to have a chat with Wallaby coach Robbie Deans. He was in Canberra on Saturday night. He was gutted, of course, as we all were, to see David Pocock injured, but he too was mightily impressed with the comeback of George Smith. No, he's a class act. There's not too many blokes that, that could come from a competition that is clearly at a, at a much lesser level in Japan and step into a Super Rugby local derby and perform the way he performed. You know, he, he looked like he, you know, he'd never left and uh, he was doing the, doing the same things, showing the value of experience, turning up in the right places um, and you know, showing the class that he has. He's a remarkably, not only capable, but uh, also resilient athlete. Can you just clarify what has to change if George Smith was to be selected for the Wallabies? Yeah, well, there's two key things that would need to change, but one of them is, is individual, which is personal to, to George and his circumstance, his contractual circumstance. Um, he is currently contracted to Suntory, uh, which means then would need a secondary uh, change, which would be a change of protocol, if you like. Currently, we are unable to select foreign players. So essentially, George is a foreign player, given that he is contracted to Suntory. So they either release him from that, that contract and uh, he becomes a possibility, but, but they're not going to do that. They're going to want him to return and, and play. Or conversely, the AAU says, well, despite the fact that you contracted Suntory, we're prepared to consider you. But right now, he's, he's not, not an option. Which Australian players have really surprised you, or at least really impressed you in the first month of Super Rugby? You know, you talk about that last encounter. I, well, we went down there um, you know, to specifically look at a couple of blokes who've been on the fringe, who've been in our training program, guys like Jesse Mogg and, uh, and Ben Moen. We're very interested to see how they went in, in, in what we believe would be a, a pretty close encounter. It didn't turn out that way, uh, but they did well. You know, so they now head offshore to Africa, and I guess in the coming weeks we'll see players like that who, who are pressing hard. We'll see them up against... South African internationals and, and Kiwi internationals, so it's all good from our perspective. When you talk about form versus history in the Wallaby jersey, I guess there's a lot of Waratahs players at the moment who would be hoping that you pick largely on history because it'd be hard to pick too many on form, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, you're probably right. You know, they're probably not comfortable with, with you know, particularly their last outing. Um, but there's a long campaign, there's a lot of rugby to be played between now and then. Uh, so who knows what the circumstance will be at that point. But yeah, if it continues in that vein, yeah, without a doubt, there'll be some pretty anxious blokes prior to an announcement.